Welcome back to our Math Spirit. We will continue with linear equation in two variable with part 4. In first three parts we have already seen the exercise 4.1 and 4.2. Today we will continue with exercise 4.4. If you remember in last period I told you to keep your graph books ready. So because for today's period that is exercise 4.4 we required the graph book. So let us start with exercise 4.4. So 4.4 question number 1 is given here as give the geometrical representation of the following with one variable. In textbook it is given as with one variable as well as by two variable. Yes but now first I will explain you with one variable and then by two variables for the same equation. Okay, so now let us start with the first sum. So the first question is given as x equal to 3. Now here the equation is given in one variable but the geometrical representation we have to show it by using one variable as well as by two variable. So don't get confused I will explain you both the parts very clearly. So see here, the first one is x equal to 3. The variable is taken as x. Can you see over here? It is given as x equal to 3. Now, therefore, we have taken a number line here as x, x dash. Can you see over here? This is x, x dash. When you draw a number line, your number line as per your given equation. If your equation is given in terms of x, so it will be x, x dash. If in terms of y, then it will come as y, y dash. Now here x equal to 3. Where the number 3, the number 3 where it is located on a number line, can you see? Yes, it is exactly over here. Can you see over here? Yes. So this is nothing but your point 3. So here we can say this is nothing but the equation as x equal to 3 we are representing geometrically on a number line. Can you see this? Is it very easy? Just represent that number on a number line. Now let us start with the next sum. For the next sum, the next one is 2x equal to 5. If it is given in this form, first of all you have to simplify and find the value of x. So here 2x equal to 5, so x will become as 5 by 2 as you are shifting the number 2 on this side. On right hand side, can you see if I shift the number 2 on right hand side, it will become as 5 by 2. So, what is a 5 by 2 value? 2.5. Correct. Now, just represent that 2.5 on a number line. So, 2.5 it is in between 2 and 3, and just approximately here I can show it this is as 2.5. Yes, but when you do it on a graph paper, you can show it exactly where that x equal to 2.5 will come. Okay, so while writing, write it very nicely. Just locate that point properly. Okay, so here this is your 2.5. Put an arrow. Yes. And just write it as x is equal to 2.5. Is it clear? So 2.5 point will come here on a number line. Okay. Now see the next sum. The next one is x equal to minus 6. Means it is not compulsory that always you will get the variable value. That is equation in positive. It may come in negative. It may come in fraction. It may come in decimal also. So here x equal to minus 6. How to represent geometrically? You can see over here that is x equal to minus 6. I can see on a number line here. Can you see? Yes, x equal to minus 6. Just here to just put a circle Show that point and write the equation over here x equal to minus 6. 
okay see the next sum the next one is 3x plus 1 equal to 4 so in this case you have to simplify this find the linear solve the linear equation find the value of x so what will be your solution in that case as 3x plus 1 equal to 4 if you shift the number 1 here it will become 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 so 3x equal to 3 so x equal to 1 so how to represent geometrically yes x equal to 1 this point you can see over here can you see and you can write it here as x equal to 1 so i think it is very easy to represent a given equation geometrically by using one variable i think hope it is clear to all of you let me quickly show all the uh, equations on an on the same number line so look at over here the first one is x equal to 3 can you see over here x equal to 3 is here so x equal to 3 what is your second one x equal to 2.5 so where is x equal to 2.5 it is here in between 2 and 3 so write the equation over here that is x equal to 2.5 is it clear the third one is nothing but x equal to minus 6 so minus 6 point is over here write it as x is equal to minus 6 the next one is x equal to 1 so how where that x equal to 1 will come correct this is your x is equal to 1 so this way we can represent the given equation geometrically by using one variable so just note down and this sum you have to do it on a graph paper only yes note it down these all the sums are not a textual i have taken few extra sums also see few more examples with y variable see the first example first one is y equal to 6 now what is the difference between if the equation is given in x variable and y variable yes the difference is very simple in x variable we have taken the number line as x x dash and here we will take it with y can you see on a number line right hand side point i have taken as y and left hand side point i have taken as y dash it is a number line so just i have written as y value i am not showing exactly over here because it is infinitely on both the side okay so your number line is y y dash over here now the rest part is same as we have done for x variable correct so here what where your point 6 will come on a number line can you see here yes the point 6 is here so here just we will put a circle or just show the dot and write the equation over here as y equal to 6 so we are representing y equal to 6 on a number line or geometrically we are representing here see the next sum the next sum is 3y equal to 6 so 3y equal to 6 therefore y equal to what y equal to 2 where the point 2 you can see over here yes so y equal to 2 point is here so we can write it here as y equal to 2 clear is it very simple just represent that point on this number line clear now let us see the third sum third example is y equal to minus 7 as i told you y value can be positive negative in fraction or it can be in decimal also okay so y equal to minus 7 where it will come on a number line correct y equal to minus 7 just represent it here as y equal to minus 7 on a number line see the next example the next example is 2y plus 4 equal to 2 if 2y plus 4 equal to 2 shift the number 4 on right hand side 
yes so if i take the number 4 on right hand side it will become 2 minus 4 2 minus 4 is minus 2 therefore 2y equal to minus 2 y equal to minus 1 now represent y equal to minus 1 on a number line so the point will come here so it represents geometrically over here on a number line the equation y equal to minus 1 so let me just show you all four together once again y equal to 6 is here can you see this is here y equal to 6 the second one is y equal to 2 where that y equal to 2 will come this is your point 2 therefore we will write it as y equal to 2 here the third one is where y equal to 7 Ma sorry y equal to minus 7 so minus 7 point is here and this equation represents geometrically here the next one is y equal to minus 1 correct therefore y equal to minus 1 is here can you see all four equation we are represented geometrically by using one variable okay one variable means what just simply draw the number line and represent those points on that hope this is clear to all of you i will repeat again exercise 4.4 if for each and every question they asked you to represent with by using one variable as well as by two variable i have taken the examples over here only by using one variable and in the next period i will continue with two variable hope it is clear to all of you yes so thank you